breaking the rules. So, as you know, this is episode three and my 101 self-help improvement tips for those who need it. Um, so today, let's get straight into it. We're talking about breaking the rules. And I'm not talking about like breaking a law. I mean like breaking certain rules that society or others have placed upon you. And why you should necessarily think about breaking those rules. Breaking the stigma. Breaking the stereotype. So, most people don't question rules. We live in a society where everyone just follows. We just do this because it's said. Or someone in the past told us that we're supposed to. No one questions it. Except for those who are successful. If you notice, you see the Steve Jobs, the Bill Gates. What did they do? People told them college was what they're supposed to do at that time. To get a good job. To get that American dream. They said no. That doesn't make sense. So they worked. They created an idea. And look at them. Uh, the millionaires. Rest in peace, Steve Jobs. But they're millionaires. Because they said, I'm going to take that chance and question the rules that have been set before me. And you should be doing that in your everyday life. Also, every rule is designed to level the playing field. Or basically tilt it. And what that means is, in society, we have these rules put in place because we're like, oh, this person has an unfair advantage. Or this person has an unfair advantage. Let's even the playing field. But sometimes certain rules don't benefit everyone. It only benefits a certain person. Like one can say that in America right now, the rules benefit um, people of white descent. And that's just coming from a place of law, right? But one can say that when it comes to jobs and getting into college, it benefits minorities such as blacks, Indians, Hispanics because of affirmative action. So you have to understand that these rules that are put in place, even though they may be beneficial to one party, it's not always beneficial to all parties. And and this is where we have a lot of our disagreements. But again, rules are made to you know help one side and disadvantage the other, but also at times it, it does the reverse, you know? <clears throat> so like, yeah, just to go along with that, rules are created to protect the status quo, not to spur innovation. Again, like I said, we were told that in order to get a good job or to have a successful life, you need to go to school, get an education, get a college degree, and then you can you can start, you know, living out the American dream. And we've seen that to be false in the people that I've stated before. But even if you look at certain YouTubers and certain um, content creators, they're, half of them haven't gone to college. A lot of them just said, all right, I'm just what I'm going to do. I like making videos, so this is my job. And look at that. You have people like Swoozy. You have people like, you know, Dash and T. Pendell. Um, Hot, I, Hot, Hot Damn I Rock. PewDiePie. Markiplier. All of them cats. They said, I'm not going to follow the status quo. I enjoy making videos, and this is what I'll do. So, again, rules are just created so we can keep everyone in check so rather than follow them sometimes you need to break them sometimes you need to change your outlook change how you're thinking change what you're doing you know and that's what a lot of these movements are doing they're challenging the status quo they're saying all right the idea of a man and a woman gender roles we don't accept that we're going to change it you know and and that's the beautiful thing about breaking the rules is because we see something that doesn't work anymore and we fight it and we say, this is not happening. You know, granted, in my personal opinion, there's certain things that I, I feel are necessary, you know, in terms of rules. But sometimes there are rules that are set in place that don't belong. And all they do is keep the false idea of society and the status quo. Excuse me. <coughs> Again, rules aren't facts. <laughs> they're not laws. They're theories. It's, that, that goes more along the lines of, you know, again, rules of society, rule of engagement, rule of dating, rule of attraction. And those, those are more of opinions and what society deems acceptable, but they're not law. 
as long as you're not breaking the law, you're breaking societal rules, what are you really doing wrong? Like, if you notice, to go back to feminism and um, the women's movement, what I've noticed in that is they're saying no to societal laws of, you know, female dependency on men. But, again, with every rule or every time you break a rule, there's always repercussions, there's always consequences, and there's also uh, organizations or groups that are formed. And now we have men challenging the women challenging the rules. And then you have moments like MGTOW, men going their own way. You know, they're saying, hey, we don't want to follow society's rules either in terms of antiquated uh, gender roles too. But in terms of we are fighting for our masculinity, we are fighting for the idea of being a man and what it means to be a man in today's society. We are no longer allowing society to tell us that, you know, getting married is to be a man, to uh, allow women to step all over us to be a man, you know? So it's, it's important to understand that these, these um, groups are not creating laws. They're just breaking the rules of society, the rules of engagement, you know? And I'm going to go into a video later on about feminism and MGTOW because I actually have recently done research in the MGTOW movement and it makes sense. Um, would I say I'm fully invested? No, I'm still learning about it. But I would encourage men today to take a look at it and see if that is if it's for them. It's a really cool movement and I would throw my support behind it. Real MGTOW, not what society and what the news is trying to create it into. Like I say with everything, always do research for yourself. Do not listen to social media or don't even listen to me sometimes about certain things. You search and find the information for yourself. Break the rules of just accepting information. See how this all ties in together? Break the rules. Break the stigmas. Break the stereotypes. Because all they are known to do is to cloud your judgment and make you biased. If something does not work for you, break it. I don't mean destroy, I mean break it, right? <clears throat> Sorry. So at the end of the day, the main purpose of rules, right? Rules are instructions, a guide to help you accomplish something, but they're not the only way to accomplish something. And I think this, this is the biggest thing I feel that a lot of people don't understand. Uh, in the place where I work, a lot of people follow the rules to a T. But it doesn't always grant, uh, grant them the success they desire. Because when it comes to, I work in sales. So when it comes to sales, sometimes you have to change it up. You have to go above what's allowed. Because at the end of the day, it's all fluid. Sales is fluid. You know, so you, you're going to be breaking a lot of the rules because not every situation dict dictates a path. Again, rules are just instructions, something to help guide you, not to say this is it and that's it. How you sell and how someone else sells can be completely different. And just because you follow the rules doesn't make your way the better way. It just means that you had success that way. Doesn't mean that I didn't have success, even though I may have done something unconventional and something that didn't follow the status quo. You know? And I feel like in order to to improve and have self-improvement, you need to understand that there are gonna be times when you're making a stand that you may have to break the rules. Not the law, the rules. And you have to go against what society says. You have to go against the rules of your parents, the rules of your boss, the rules of, you know, a relationship. You have to do it in order to help better yourself and those around you. And does that make you a villain? No. Because it's all about perspective, baby. It's all about how you see it. If breaking the rules allow you to grow 
and show you a path that someone may have never seen before, I encourage you to take it. Again, I'm not advocating the breaking of the law. There's a difference. But I encourage you to break the status quo in your work environment. In your work environment. Break the status quo in your friend groups. Break the status quo in your social media platforms. Why? Because change does not happen. Improvement does not happen until you say, I'm not going to be a sheep and follow everyone else. I'm not going to allow myself to just be another person in the crowd. If everyone loves freaking Drake and you don't, you're allowed to feel that way. You're allowed to break the rules. You get what I'm saying? You're breaking the rules of the social norm because Drake is supposed to be this hot guy. If you don't like him, you don't like him. It doesn't make you less of a person because you choose to break the rules of social engagement. You don't like going out? That's cool. And this and I'm, this is more so for the young the young kids growing up. If you guys want to do what you want to do and you want to be different, go ahead and do it. Do not allow societal pressures or you know the fear of breaking social norms to hold you back. If you if you love to do something different than what everyone else is doing, go ahead and do it. At the end of the day, whatever you you're, you're uh, a Muslim and a Christian, an atheist or you just believe in a, a pastafarian, a, a damn man in the sky. We are put in this earth with free will to break the rules. Adam and Eve broke the rules. Look what happened. They, they, they basically opened a new avenue for us to have free will. Those, may, uh, those of you who may argue it was the wrong thing, you don't know. Maybe without them, we wouldn't have free will. But all I'm saying is, instead of being sheep and following the rules that society has forced upon you, kick down the freaking door. Punch whoever you need to punch. Kick whoever you need to kick. But whoever's keeping you from breaking the rules, let them know that you will not be chained and you will not be tamed because this is your world. This is your existence and you will be heard and you do not have to follow the status quo. So go ahead out there, all right? Go ahead, my little rookies. Go do your thing and be great. And always remember, if you're following the rules, I have no problem with you. Do what you got to do. But remember, if you want to grow, if you want to learn and experience things, sometimes the rules must be broken. All right, y'all. Senpai out. <laughs>